Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel and today let's read this expression to the 12th power. Let's do this. First of all, let's call this expression as x. So for example, x equal to, equal to this expression, so 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And because of we need to read this to the 12th power, we need to find x to the 12th power. Okay, x to the 12th power, we need to find this expression. So first of all, uh, let's simplify a little bit this expression. So first of all, let's mm, cancel this uh, denominator. So let's multiply both sides by 2. So what do we have right here? We have our expression multiplying both sides by 2. So we have 2x equal to 1 plus square root of 5. This is our first step. So right now let's bring this one from right hand side to left hand side. So what do we have right here? We have 2x minus 1, 2x minus 1 equal to square root of 5. Right now let's raise both sides to the second power. Let's do this. Let's square, let's square both sides. So let's raise this 2x minus 1. Let's square this 2x minus 1. So 2x minus 1, we squared our left hand side. And we do the same thing with the right hand side. So square root of 5, we have we have square. So it implies that you know, on the right hand side we can cancel our square root and our, mm, our second power because we can easily do this because of a property, so we have only 5. On the right hand side we, we need to array this because if we array this we have 4x squared. This is a classic formula, so what do we have right here? 4x squared minus 4x and plus 1, which is equal to 5. Okay, right now let's bring this uh, constant from, from right to left. So we have our equation 4x squared minus 4x. And if you bring this 5 with the minus sign, we have minus 5 plus 1, which is equal to minus 4, equal to 0. Okay, right now let's divide both sides by 4, because we have all the time 4, 4, and 4. So we can divide both sides by, by 4. As a result, we have really interesting expression. We have x squared minus x minus 1 equal to 0. And from here, let's find our x squared. So from here, our x squared equal to x plus 1. And this is expression that we really need right now. So it helps us to reduce a power. So this is our expression that we really need all the time right here. This is our main expression to this challenge. So x squared equal to x plus 1. Right now, let's try to solve this challenge because this is our expression that we really need, but we need to find our x to the 12th power. Okay, so let's separate this, this part right here. It was our first part. And right now, as I told before, we need to find x to the 12th, x to the 12th power. Okay, we need to find it. But x to the 12th power equal to x to the second power raised to the sixth power. Okay, to the sixth power. Okay, I hope you understand this step. And right now, x square equal to x plus 1. So we can easily change this x square by this x plus 1. Okay, so right here, instead of x square, let's write x plus 1. We can do this because this is a correct expression. So which is equal to x plus 1 to the 6 to the 6 power. <clears throat> okay, right now, let's write this 6 power in, the, in that way. Equal to, let's write this as x plus 1, x plus 1 to the second power. And we raise all of this in this type of brackets. We raise all of this to the third power. Okay? We can easily do this because 2 times 3 equal to 6. So we have absolutely the same expression. Okay? Equal to... Let's raise x plus 1 to the second power. So what do we have right here? We have inside these parentheses, we have this expression raised to the second power. So what do we have right here? x square, x square plus 2x and plus 1 and raised to the third power. Don't forget about this third power. Third power. Which is equal to, instead of this x square, the same, the same logic is right here. We can write this as x plus 1. Because of this expression that we find before, so instead of x square, we write x plus 1, and we have as a result x plus 1 plus 2x and plus 1. And of course, to the third power. Let's add it. So right here we have x plus x, x plus 2x, which is equal to 3x. So we have 3x plus right here we have plus 2. So plus 2 and of course raise to the third power. Don't forget about this. Raise to the third power. Okay, it is our first step that we really need to work with. Uh, let's go next. First of all, let's write this cube as, um, so, um, you know, you can also write a cube as a square times a. And in the same logic, we can write this expression. So let's do this right here. We can write this expression as 3x plus 2 
square. And don't forget about this one expression. So times 3x plus 2. Okay, so 3x plus 2. We can easily write this, write this expression like that. If we add it, we have 2 plus 1. The third power absolutely the same. Right now, let's raise this 3x plus 2 to the second power. So what do we have right here? Uh, our formula a square, a plus b square. So everyone should know about this formula. I want to write this formula right here. So a plus b square, which is equal to a square plus 2ab and plus b square. And I'm going to apply this formula right here. This formula will help us a lot. So let's do this. So we have 3x to the second power. We have 9x square. So right here we have 9x square plus 12x, yeah, plus 12x, and plus, plus 4. And of course, don't forget about this one parenthesis, 3x plus 2 times 3x plus 2. Okay, right now, don't forget about this x square, because x square equal to, equal to x plus 1. So instead of this x square, we can also plug in x plus 1. And let's do this. So right here in a new line, let's do this. So what do we have right here? In, inside parentheses we have 9. Instead of this x square we plug in x plus 1. Okay? x plus 1 plus 12x. Absolutely the same expression. Plus 12x and plus 4. And times these parentheses. 3x. 3x plus 2. Okay, let's multiply right here. What do we have? 9x plus 9. Uh, or let's write it in a new line. So x to the 12th power because we had it in the beginning. So x to the 12th power equal to, let's write it in a new line, so this parenthesis, which is equal to 9x plus 9, 9x plus 9, plus 12x, plus 4, and times, times 3x plus 2. 3x plus 2. Okay, so right now, let's right here, let's add x, uh, 9x and uh, 12x. So we have 21x right here. So let's do this. So we have 21x plus 9 plus 4 plus 13. Plus 13. And times these expressions, 3x plus 2. 3x plus 2. Right now, let's multiply it because we have x to the 12th power. So this is the expression that we need, of course. Yeah, so let's multiply this parenthesis by parenthesis. So what do we have right here? We have 21x times 3x. Uh, what do we have right here? 63x square. 63x square plus 42x plus 39x plus 39x and plus 26. 26. Okay, right now don't forget about this x square because x square, as I told before, equal to right here we had x plus 1, so x square equal to x plus 1. So what do we have? We have 63 times this expression x plus 1. Plus, right here, if we add it 42 and 39, we have 81x, so plus 81x, 81x, and plus 26. Plus 26. 26, which is equal to. Okay, let's simplify this a little bit. 63x plus 63. So we have 63x plus 63. 63x plus 63. Right here we have plus 81x. Plus 81x and plus 26. Plus 26. Equal to. Right here, if we add all of this, we have. 144x plus 89, 144x plus 29, plus 89, plus 89. Okay, this is our x to the 12th power, but don't forget about our x, because our x in the beginning equal to this expression, x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. So right now let's plug in this expression right here in this expression, 144 times this expression. So x to the 12th power, let's write it, so x to the 12th power, x to the 12th power equal to 144x, 144x plus 89, plus 89, but our x equal to this expression that I told before in the beginning, x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over, over 2. So let's plug in this expression in our, in our question. So what do we have right here? We have 144, 144 times this expression, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, and plus 89, plus 89. 
Okay, let's do this. 144 can be easily cancelled with this two. So as a result, we have what? We have 72 right here. Yeah, we have equal to 72. We have 72. Inside parentheses, we have one plus square root of five and plus 89, plus 89 equal to, right here, let's multiply it. So we have 72, 72 plus 72 square root of five 72 square root of 5 and plus 89 plus 89 we can easily add our constant 72 and 89 and we have our answer 161 plus 72 square root of of 5 this is our answer to this to this challenge so x to the 12th power x to the 12th power equal to 161 161 right here yeah 161 plus 72 square root of 5. Okay, this is our answer to this to this challenge. As you can see, a long and complicated challenge, but I hope you understand it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn something new. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Also write your question down into the comment section. What do you think about this approach? Maybe you have a faster approach. This is my approach to this challenge. I also will be really interested if you write your suggestion down into the comment section. And thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. See you in the next videos and have a great day.